good morning children welcome back to the explanation of the chapter the last lesson in the previous video we have completed till chapter 5 say 5 uh, sorry and there we were talking about that mr m hamel discussed the importance of language you may see on the page number 7 which we are doing today 7 and 8 on this page in this paragraph M Hamel says that language it is as if they had the key to their prison here literary device simile is used key is compared to the language and as long as they hold fast to their language we can make our country free after this they had the after the grammar class they had the writing section for this writing section patriotic feeling arise now here m hamel had brought new copies for the children to teach them writing on the sheet the two words alsace and france alsace and france were written in round hand now round hand means cursive writing okay so the sheets were distributed to every child on the table and when children were writing these words franz turned about and looked in the class pin drop silence was there everyone was busy writing those words now here franz has the feeling again simile is used here due to patriotic feeling and uh, these words they arise the patriotic feeling in the mind and heart of france france felt as if they were not the sheets as if they were the little flag of their country floating on each table on the rod children were writing those words silently and there was that sort of silence that only the scratching of pen could be heard now even the little children they were busy writing those words at a time one beetle enters in the class no one was distracted you can see on the last second last paragraph of the page 7 like little flags floating simile used here and the sound of scratching of the pens on the paper could be heard the little children were also not at all affected by the sound of that beetle after that franz is very much upset and disturbed by the implication of that order here we understand linguistic chauvinism i hope you remember chauvinism means one's belonging to the language now the uh the the berlin government who had passed the order because of that they have to now from tomorrow learn the german language suddenly the pigeon squeak on the window of the class the france uh, the statement of the france will they make them sing in german even the pigeons now the frustration of france we can see due to order passed by the go- berlin government to ban french and learn german on words so he wanted to say that can these people apply this order on pigeons can they ask them to coo in german language that is not at all possible so how can they apply this order on us we should respect the language other languages also here you can see this line will they make them sing in german even the pigeons now after that when children were busy writing franz looked towards the teacher mr m hamel who was very quietly sitting and staring the things each one by one in the class as if he wanted to carry the memories in his heart and from tomorrow because from tomorrow he has to leave the school now in the next remaining part of this chapter the last page that is eighth one 
we understand the patriotic emotions which overwhelmed each and every one then they had the lesson in history babies they chanted in unison sound and the sound which appears ba be bi bo bu along with the children old hoser holding primer spelled with them in the same manner his voice trembled while speaking and uh, that way made friends laugh and cry now see how at a time he wanted to laugh also and cry also why laugh because the way of m uh, the old hoser was very funny because he became emotional and uh, his voice trembled now see how he spoke ba baby bo bu which appeared very funny franz wanted to laugh but he did not and he cried because he could understand the emotion of everyone that all are feeling very sad just after that it was 12 o'clock the church clock struck 12 angelus it means prayer of their country prussian the trumpets of prussian also sounded now it was time to end the class i never saw him look so tall this is the line given in your this chapter last page here i never saw him look so tall it is phrase which means when am hamel stood straight in the respect of the trumpet which sounded franz felt him first time that he is such a great teacher something choked mr m hamel and he could not speak the patriotic feeling affected him he only took up a piece of chalk and as large as he could write on the blackboard he wrote in big letters vive la france which means long live france and he signed off with this writing and he could not speak with heavy heart he supported to the board collected his strength and waved his hand saying goodbye to them the class is dismissed here your chapter ends now very quickly let's see the theme of the chapter it beautifully brings light to the sense of re- of regret at the loss of opportunities because of postponing the learning of things one never knows when the doomsday will dawn upon and bring on end to our hopes and aspirations the natives of alsaces became victim or victims of prussians linguistic chauvinism which compels them to study german and bid a tearful adieu to their mother tongue now let's look upon the characteristics after reading the chapter we come to know about m hamel he is very emotional hard working patriotic loyal honest sensitive ideal teacher passionate etc now about franz he is very observant sensitive nature lover sincere empathetic innocent conscious etc to describe a person we should have such type of character adjectives to describe the characteristics now look to these expressions which are used in the chapter in great dread of means fearful of something counted on means to rely or trust on somebody or something thumbed at the edges which means worn soiled edges caused by frequent handling in unison being done at same time unitedly a great puzzle rapid or active commotion reproach ourselves with means to disapprove criticize disappointment 
or feel guilty i hope that you all will be able to understand the chapter with these videos and uh, if you have any problem you can ask feel free to ask and till then read the chapter and try to understand it thank you